Welcome, and welcome back to all that the wind has brought here, to another episode of Roots of Pacha, where we have been upgrading barns, we have been expanding pickles, and we are looking for more variants of the Ibex to tame and to contain. We'll start our morning by saying hi to Lily and Shadow. Um, I'd be a little bit too much for it. And what have we got in here? We've got a bunch of beer and meat and stuff that can go away and some parsley that can go away into here. So let's go ahead and uh, move that over. We'll go start with the processors. Get those running at least once. And from that point, we'll go and we'll deal with some of the things that we're gonna need here. So let's start on fermenting. <clears throat> and then we will move on these and we're gonna need more so let's grab out this mead and let's grab out these guys here okay now from here, let's deal with some of this ferment. And hopefully we'll be able to get going through this process pretty quick. It's taking us a little bit longer because these are grains and we're fermenting them as well. I'm hoping that by moving on to wine, we'll have a bit of an easier time with some of this. But unfortunately, we're just going to have to wait and see. Oh, that? I love this. I discovered between episodes we can indeed reach six of these at a time from the top. So as long as we're coming in from the top, we don't have to worry about any of this. Let's grab out some more of this. And that'll do it. Okay, so those guys are going. We don't have anything more we can put in here. We have a bunch of beers and things that we are definitely going to put away for the moment. As well as some vinegars that we'll put away. We'll get rid of some of these meat patties down here. Put them on the smoker. I think we're going to need another smoker for these legume patties. To be honest, I think we might. Really? We'll put away some of this flint. We'll put away that drying rack for now. And we'll come say hi to some of these animals. So, let's go ahead. Gotta make sure we say hi to him. Okay. That's a chicken. I think that's still the same chicken. Oh, no, it's not. It's the other one. Okay, excellent. So, we'll come through and we'll pick up a little bit of all this stuff. Looks like we need more fiber again. <clears throat> we'll sweep out all of our barns. And just make sure we're all good on these things. Yeah, we definitely need some more fiber in there. Okay, we'll get that done. That's not a big deal. 
today is a Sunday, so we don't need to worry about whistling. And we don't need to worry about gifting until tomorrow either, which is good. Um, we'll clear out as much space as possible here with the cheese. <clears throat> and we'll throw in some eggs. And, you know, we'll throw this feather in here because, honestly, we're going to give it to somebody as a gift, I think. <clears throat> so, we'll get this field taken care of. And we'll have a chat with Kroll and we'll see what all we need in order to get another barn expanded. But give me just a minute. Alright, guys, and we are back. The field is coming along quite nicely. Let's have a talk with Kroll here. If I'm not building or fixing something, I'm probably asleep. Fair. Upgrading buildings. 100 stone, 50 hardwood. <clears throat> Honestly, I don't think that's going to be difficult for us. It might take us two days. Hopefully not. But we will see. Let's get these potatoes into here. Because we don't need to be worried about them. We'll sell this feather. Yeah. And you know what? We'll deal with the mead. The rest of it can wait, but the mead's going in. Because <clears throat> I just don't want to deal with it. We'll get more of this dealt with in the near future. Uh, but let's get some of this put away. Just for now. We're going to run the processors once a day for the moment. Except for this. We're going to run this twice. Because <clears throat> we got to try and get through some of these legumes. And we are not getting through those fast enough. But that's okay. Let's jump on not sage. And let's see what we can make happen. As far as hardwood and stone go. Let's see if first off we can't find just a couple of trees. If we can find like five trees, that'll be enough. Right? Well, that's one. Um, five might be asking a lot. Five might be asking a lot for us right now. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like it might be. Let's head south and just double check and, and take a quick peek here. See if there might be five hardwood trees? I don't think so, not unless we get into our farm. Which we might do for this last one. Because <clears throat> there's one right there. We could do it. And we might need to do it. Just to make it happen. <clears throat> do I think that we're going to get the uh, necessary amount of stone today? No, I, I have significant doubts as to that, but I'm hoping we can at least get the hardwood. Okay, we have 50 hardwood. Now I need some stone. And to see if we can find any new Ibex. We need two more different colors in our barns, and then we can start getting duplicates. And it'll just be a matter of catch and release, catch and release, catch and release. Let's see. That's Coco. I don't think we have Coco. I think we're working on Coco. So let's attune to this guy. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, we'll invite this one. Okay, then we need one more color pattern. And then we'll be able to start getting duplicates. And hopefully finding a rare one. But yeah, we're, we're coming along here. We're getting there. We need a lot of rocks, just straight up rocks. And I'm thinking some gemstones would be good for us as well. So we might head up to like where monkey's at. <clears throat> and I know that's a little rougher because it's not just going to give us rocks. But I want to try to get our hands on some more gemstones so we can keep upgrading our gear as well. And honestly, this is not where we were supposed to be heading. This is the Pinecone statue. But you know what? Rocks it is. Look how many rocks we've gotten out of here. This is great. It's like, boom. There's, there's a third of a barn right there. One room, nearly half a barn. I'm okay with that. That is, that is okay by me. And by my standards, it's not where I wanted to head. It's not where I intended to head. But I will take the sheer amount of stone that is in this room. And I will use it to house Ibex. And hopefully other things too. But Ibex first. We're gonna get these guys. I'm almost considering, for the sake of the journal, do we tame spiders and things and release them, or do we just have the three pets that we want? You know what? That's actually enough stone. We'll have a barn started tomorrow. So that works. We've gotten out the stone that we needed. Though honestly, a second one is going to be necessary as well. Let's go to Monkey's room, see if we can't find some gems. And maybe we'll head along further and continue to look for gems. But I think just getting some of these guys is going to be useful to us. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit less on the, on the stone front, but it's gems. We need those. It's fine. Get another one there. And then we need to go here. <clears throat> to where the Glyphodons are. And see if we find any gemstones around here. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. That's the interesting part, isn't it? Yeah, right. Oh my god, do we not have food? Wow, I messed that one up, didn't I? Hmm. Well, I guess we're done here. Let's go home. go all the way home because I didn't pack any food and I guess we'll have to pass on the sapphires. Oh, these trees are so beautiful. We need to expand this out too. I really want to get that barn going first though and maybe that second barn going and then we'll expand out the tree farm a bit. We may get into year three just to get all of the tree knowledge done. Pardon me just a sec, guys. Sorry about that. Been uh, talking a little bit. <laughs> it wears on you sometimes. Honestly, I didn't realize until I started doing this, though, how much I would enjoy being here and hanging out with you guys and talking these things through. It really is 
just beautiful and wonderful, and I enjoy it so much. And I don't care if it's a little hard on my throat at the end of the day. This is this is what dreams are made out of. Like, I know it's going to sound weird, but I've grown up and I've spent my life playing these farming simulator games. And the one real downside to them is that you play them by yourself. And so now getting to do YouTube, it's like, okay, I get to play a farming simulator with somebody. And it is so wonderful and so peaceful. And I'm so glad to be here with you guys. So yeah, the occasional moment where I have to pause the recording and have a little bit of a coughing fit. Honestly, I couldn't care less. I really and truly could not care less if it's a little irritating to the throat sometimes. Like, who cares? This is the best thing ever. This is better than when you hit that age that you can eat solid food and a parent offers you ice cream. Like, this is better than that. And people have been asking me some of my actual in real life associates have been asking me, how are you doing so many recordings? Don't you get tired of it? You don't want it to feel like work. Guys, this isn't like work. This is the most fun I've had playing a farming game in years. Truthfully, and it's all thanks to you guys. So, if you're hanging out, and it's 1.20 in the morning, in-game, and you're going, I can't believe this lady is still doing this. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And... Uh, Thank you, developers, for putting crafting into the inspect menu as well so I can do it with the clock paused. That was awesome. Okay. So the clan is up to 365,000 prosperity. They're going to start working on Bones Plaza. That must have been Teddy's idea. And we contributed 2740 today. Not bad. Those pickled carrots. Oh, those pickled carrots. So those are 228 each, just by themselves. That's incredible. We'll give her a save. We'll awaken to 16,000 contribution points. And, yeah, Teddy wants to give Bones a, an official place in the village. Great, we're going to build a gambling house. Oh dear. <clears throat> and it will be Jelrod's birthday today. So we'll have to remember that for next time. But, with new gifts to give and a new week started, and needing to talk to Aloe and Garrick again, these things are all going to have to wait, including the building of our barn. But with the saving of the game and the ending of the day, we've come to the end of this episode. If you guys like what you see, please feel free to hit that thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. But until next time, may the wind bring you on another journey. And have a good night.